welcome to my winter witchy altar tour. Before we get into it, please make sure that you're subscribed. Let's take a tour of my altar. Happy New Year, witches, and welcome to my altar tour. I reset up my altar for a more of a winter sort of palette. The last that you guys have seen it, it looked very autumn, fall, and it had a lot more Halloween-ish decor on it. But I'm so excited to walk you through my altar and the things that I keep on it and what I find important to keep on my altar space. And I just love it so much and I really enjoy the way that it came out. So, and let's start over here. This is actually a little trinket box that I don't currently have full right now. It is just my Sagittarius star sign. And like I said, there's nothing in it, but the thing that is currently in it, it just says Sagittarius, generous, optimistic, and loving. And that is kind of really my three biggest personality traits. And I don't really say this in a way of, uh, oh my God, Miss Zodiac Girly, but this is, I am really a full true Sagittarius through and through. And that's just something that I find important to kind of keep alongside the rest of my altar, especially because come the new year, I'm sure I'm going to need to put things in here to keep protected. I like to keep sort of jars and bins and trinket boxes everywhere just so I could have a vessel for things to be collected in because I do have a lot of trinkets and things but again we will get to that so moving on over here i have this little bunny squishy toy this was actually sent to jordan by craig owens of drugs he's just like a big part of <laughs> jordan's vocalist journey to be honest with you and he's just such an awesome dude and sent like a fun little bunny rabbit and i don't know if he was creeping jordan when he saw it knowing that we have a bunny that looks literally exactly like this but um now i keep him on my altar as a means of protection. If you guys kind of had the little overlook, I have a bunny facing this way. I have my Rambo, which if you guys are new to my channel, I had a dog that passed away last year. His name was Rambo. He was a German Shepherd. He was amazing. He was my familiar. He was my protector. He was everything to me. And um, I have a vlog where I was trying to not get over, but try to cope and deal with his passing. And I went to an antique shop and this little guy was just standing right behind me looking at me. And it was like the craziest, most, like I could cry right now. Magical moment for me. And and I loved it so much. So he's always the keeper of my altar. And then to the right, for like kind of my three point corner situation, I have a little pig. And this little pig was gifted to me. And it is so cute. And I love it so much. Jordan kind of like my nickname, weirdly, had become pig. Everyone, whenever they see pigs, they kind of just get them for me. And I love him because he sits right here next to all like the red bunny over here is next to a series of candles. These are actually Shabbat candles. I lit one of them. The rest of them are, go unlit. They're kind of a little bit more for decor because they don't drip wax as well as I wish that they would. For spells and things, they're just nice there to have like a little wall and a guard up. This is my vintage brush. I love her so much. She's really here for decor, but also it's kind of a reminiscent piece of the past. I, I, I don't do these things intentfully when I set up my altar, but I start to find reasons of why things come of what once they sort of continue. I can't really explain it. It's like when you set something up and then you start analyzing it more and more, you'll find more reasons of how magical that it is. So in the back here, I also have two vintage books. This one is called Hope Against Hope or something like that. Cool, special little name. This one, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a cool vintage book and I flip them to a page number that I really enjoy. And then right here I have what some may deem as just a letter opener. I kind of use this as an athame because it is quite sharp and could open things for you and just cut things out and etc. Next, moving on, we're gonna get a little low here. I have all of my grandma's antique perfumes. I'll never remove these from my altar. I find them so peaceful and so lovely. They're just coolest little trinkets. And everywhere I go, whenever I'm in an antique store, I always find like one of them somewhere. And I think that's so cool because I feel like there's a piece of her everywhere. This bowl is new. If you guys are new here, you would know that I've never had this big giant bowl before. This blue sort of plate ensemble uh, was given to me by my sister for Christmas and I think it's so cool she figured that I could have something else to put all my trinkets and witchy shit in. I have my little crystal spoons. I got this for one of my birthdays from Jordan and I use them often. If you guys watch my spell casting videos you'll notice that I use these a lot when I'm measuring out ingredients. Very poorly. I <laughs> should and then this right here is actually a new addition. I got this on Thanksgiving. We were playing a game 
they were like little twisty tube things and inside of one of them was a small tiny deck of cards and this was not my present but I said oh my god that's so cute so someone so graciously gave them to me and I think they're cool I don't want to really unwrap them from the packaging because I feel like they'll make a mess but I like the fact that they could sit right here nice and neat and then on t you saw Rambo already but underneath Rambo is my wand that I got from a witchcraft shop in Philly I love Philly so much I have so many vlogs going to Philly and being in Philly and I always tell myself oh one day I'll probably move to Philly so that's just kind of an ode to something maybe someday but the wand is so nice and it's jade and clear quartz and it has such beautiful little crevices of details in it and just the shop in general is just such an experience it's right on south street I think it's called like metaphysical something or meta something you can't miss it it's like the only one moving on this lapis lazuli crystal that I also got in Philly but I got it somewhere in Fishtown this dragon's blood bundle I got from an apothecary in I think it was Jersey I think it was Jersey City I don't I don't quite remember but I know that I've had that for quite some time and I used to keep it in a sachet until kind of now have this tray to place it on this right here is my good vibe spray so anytime I made this there's, you could tell, and all the cute little stickers that I usually keep just in my bullet journal. Um, I, I made it, if you guys are interested in making something like this, it's basically rosemary oil spritzer. Um, and you could just spray it around and whenever you're feeling kind of bad juju, come around. And I keep it here now on display because I haven't really needed to use it in quite some time, which is really quite lovely. But also I like using it to spray on my bed to make it smell delicious. You guys saw in the beginning of this video, me lighting this drip candle. I've had this drip candle for a really long time and I just let it drip onto my universe bracelets. I call these my universe bracelets. I do wear them. I wear this one more than I wear this one because this one started flying off since I've had this one since high school. It got a little like bent and broken. This is my red string bracelet that I want to bless before I put it on me. I've had it for a bit and I just haven't really found the correct thing that I want to do with it yet before I tie it on my wrist to add to like my little evil eye collection over here. And uh, I want to add my red string to it so badly, but I just haven't done it yet. Underneath this, I just have a Bath and Body Works candle. I thought it fit the theme, thought it was pretty, and I like the smell of strawberry shortcake. I feel like to invite a sweet scent into the winter time feels nice. You guys have seen this before in most of my altar tours. This is just a trinket topper trunk box that I found in an antique store in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. On top of it lies my desert rose stone, a uh, rock that I collected from outside, and I, I don't remember if this was like a ruins spell or uh it was it was like a sweet spell but i can't remember the exact thing that it was but i do have a video on my youtube channel of it in my witchery playlist if you're interested in how we crafted this little sigil there this is my yule protection jar so very wintry definitely staying on here until the winter's over once the spring comes and i do somewhat of a reset even though honestly i'm just loving the way that this looks right now probably try to figure out what to do with this spell jar. Um, some people get rid of it, some people open it, some people kind of repurpose it, but um, this is definitely for the winter time, so that is going to stay near and dear, right next to my big protection jar that I did. This was my first protection jar ever. I have a video on my channel about it and what's in it and all the fun stuff. Actually, when I was opening one of these books to curate this nice section, this fell out, so I press flowers sometimes and forget about them, so this beautifully, crafted pressed flower uh, fell out of the book and I thought that was pretty awesome. I just kind of left it there and I thought it looked really nice on top of my antique mirror because it just felt very Beauty and the Beast. It was really important. So that is my altar tour. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it and uh, I do have more altar spaces in my room so if you're interested in seeing those or seeing what's on them, watching what's on them, I do showcase them in a bunch of vlogs so make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Have a happy new year. Bye!